Hey everyone, Nick here with the Best Buy blog. Today we're looking at PNY's GeForce RTX 470 with Accelerate Gaming, a GPU made in collaboration with NVIDIA. I'm going to talk to you about the specs of this card. Uh, we'll discuss what you know software innovations are available with this uh, graphics unit. And lastly, I will tell you who this card is for and who would be a good buyer for this. So enjoy the video. So the PNY GeForce RTX 470 Accelerate is based on the Ada Lovelace architecture, which is the most recent architecture at NVIDIA. This particular card is uh, constructed with 5,888 um, CUDA cores. CUDA is uh, NVIDIA's proprietary technology, which enables all these, uh, you know, this processing that happens in a graphics unit. Um, you also have ray tracing cores and tensor cores, uh, which I'll talk about more uh, in the software side of things. It enables uh, ray tracing and uh, you know AI in uh, your graphics processing. This particular card has 12 gigabytes of memory, which is a decent amount of memory, but it's not the max amount of memory that's available on the market today. 12 gigabytes is very generous though, and you'll be able to be able to play all the uh, you know most recent games on the higher settings with a good frame rate. This particular card um, goes to, the clock speed of this card is at 1920 megahertz, but you can overclock it to 2475. So it's a pretty fast clock. You plug this in PCI, obviously, and you have a few different ports. You have three display ports and an HDMI port. The Accelerate treatment is usually offered on some of the more expensive cards on each of the uh, different series of GeForces available at PNY. So this treatment, you know, first of all, it has longer uh, fan blades for the cooling system, so it cools better. And also it has RGB lighting, so if you have a transparent case, well, it's gonna add that, you know, cool RGB look to your case. Let's look at the software side of things now. So let's talk about the software elements in the PNY GeForce 4070 Accelerate. Uh, there, is our, there are very interesting elements, uh, software elements in this card. First of all, I talked about ray tracing cores. Well, ray tracing is available on this uh, graphics card. Ray tracing is something that wasn't really possible before. Uh, it's this uh, treatment that we apply on digital images to uh, emulate how light works in uh, reality. Uh, it adds a lot of realism. It's very beautiful. Uh, you should look up, uh, if you haven't already, you know, A, B images of a computer-generated image with ray tracing and without, and uh, the difference is just night and day. It's a very beautiful uh, effect. It adds a lot of realism, as I said, and now it's available with these types of modern graphics cards, and the 4070 is capable of ray tracing. Now, there's also tensor cores in the PNY uh, GeForce 470. T tensor cores uh, enable you to use AI. So AI made a big splash in graphics uh, recently in the recent years. First of all, at NVIDIA, we've been, they've been already using um, DLSS2 for a while. Now, this is sort of an upscaling of the resolution. So you pay the cost of a lower resolution and the AI will display a higher resolution a resolution image through AI. So it's a very good way to conserve processing power and have a good quality experience with higher resolution while paying the cost of a lower resolution. But now with DLSS3, uh, NVIDIA has this very clever method of generating extra frames. Basically, we'll take two consecutive frames and uh, a, the AI will generate an extra frame in between so you have a higher resolution. Uh, this makes a really big difference because you can almost double your frame rate in your, in your uh, gaming. So if you're like a competitive gamer, this might give you an edge on other games who don't have you know, DLSS3 technology. It, uh, it makes up for a uh, very smooth experience. And you know, if you're a gamer that just loves your frame rate, this is a, an excellent choice to get into that type of gaming. So gamers have been shopping for video cards forever now. Uh, they're used to this um, concept and uh, you know they love their graphics cards. 
I think with something like the 470, uh, we've hit, you know, a new era of graphics. We're talking about AI powered graphics. It's just really impressive what's possible today. When you think of ray tracing, which was just unthinkable, uh, you know, just a few short years ago. And also the AI generated image and upscaling is just really impressive. The frame, rate, frame rates have gone through the roof and it really gives you an edge when you're playing competitively. So for gamers, I think this is a great uh, sweet spot because it's not too expensive. Well, it's still expensive because that's just the world we live in now, but this is a great uh, entry point to AI uh, graphics. Also, this type of uh, unit is not just for gamers. If you're a content creator that relies on, you know, some uh, 3D images and rendering and, and processing, and just you have like different effects in your uh, edits, uh, you probably notice that the rendering is quite long. Well, using a de dedicated graphics unit, well, you'll be able to delegate that process to the unit and just free up your CPU to do something else. And plus, just the rendering will be much quicker. So this is a very uh, interesting tool for content creators, especially those that pump out a lot of material and uh, use uh, a lot of uh, different effects. I've uh, actually written a full length article on the Best Buy blog, so check it out if you want more uh, info, more deep, uh, a deep dive into this card. But make sure that you um, check out the product itself on Best Buy's website. My name is Nick. Thank you so much for watching.